Hey everyone, welcome. Who the heck am I doing a reading for next? Let's see, let's see. Um. Mm -hmm. Who needs a reading next? Gemini, you're up. Gemini. Ooh. All right, Gemini, you are up. So, as I'm shuffling, guys, just make sure to flip the rolls if you need to. Take a rough name and leave what doesn't. This reading is for the eclipse energy, what you need to eclipse out of your energy, or what you might need to manifest, okay? Please keep in mind that this is for entertainment purposes only, okay? Um, and also, I wanted to let you know as I'm shuffling, I do have a free reading giveaway, which comes with a free gift box that has candles, a body butter I made, and a scent I also made myself, okay? Um, so I'm going to put my email in the description box. Please let me know if you're interested in entering to win, and I will be announcing the winners on the eclipse, okay? So April 8th on Monday. I already have like, I don't know, 10 people interested right now. So definitely put your name in and I will announce on Monday who wins. And I send it completely for free too. I don't like charge any shipping or anything because I'm just really nice. <laughs> okay, so let's see. What does Gemini need to know for the eclipse? Boy, okay. There could be a lot of explosive energy right now, Gemini. Okay, so Feather, someone you know is undependable and insincere. Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. Someone's name could also be Heather. Okay, you might see a feather um, on the ground. If you see a feather on the ground, this is like a warning from uh, a spirit, um, your ancestors, something like that. Fair man, dealings or relationship with a man with blonde, gray, or white hair. Okay, and flute, disappointment in a friend or lover. Mm -mm. Rat, someone working against you or behind your back. Gemini, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Love. Okay. Fox. Shrewdness and resourcefulness, especially in business. Okay. Hand. In need of help, assistance, and guidance. Okay, so definitely, like, if you need help right now, Gemini, it's a very good idea for you to ask someone. Okay. And handshake, a meeting with a stranger that could be important. A lot about hands here, okay? So someone you know could have nice hands maybe, or I feel like you're going to... Hands, hands. Something going on with the hands, okay? Someone here could have also been a flute player. And Fox could be like a name, okay? This is annoying me. Okay, this is really annoying me. I don't I don't know why, but I'm like really annoyed right now, Gemini, okay? I'm like Because whatever is happening here, you do not deserve it. Okay, this is something that is really, I don't like this. Okay, so I'm going to get the overall energy. What's the overall energy? And this is metamorphosis. The metamorphosis card just came out. So something is changing for you for the better. Okay. Um, what's the overall energy for Gemini, please? Okay. 
the trout and lily of the valley purification. Things are being yeeted out of your life, Gemini, that you no longer need. Okay, so, you know, so this could feel really painful, but something just, you know, this, it's being removed from your life before it gets too serious, kind of, is what I'm getting to, okay? So what's the overall um, energy for relationships and love for Gemini, please? Yeah, okay. Intuition in the reverse, and we also have creative ingenuity in the reverse. Someone could not be using their intuition with something. Or you could have had like a spidey sense tingle or whatever, but you ignored it. We're going to get more on that, okay? This could be your person too. Like I said, flip the rules, okay? Someone could have like, someone's favorite like animal could be a bat maybe. And, or spiders. Or you may be seeing bats and spiders, okay? Which is not bad. I'm just, you know. Um, what's the overall energy for work and finance? The badger and the... And ginkgo. So some of you using ginkgo biloba could be very healthy for you at this time. Like it could help your brain or... Uh, I do feel like there's going to be someone at work that you're going to meet that's going to almost assist you with... With... Um, your romantic, uh, I want to say like romantic issues here. Okay. Or this person could maybe be like a very healing friend. I'm getting from this person, this card in particular, I'm getting like a, I don't, I don't know why it's reminding me of childhood, but something's going to be like a very like childlike, uh, friendship, like a really nice friend to have like unlike any friend you've had because this they're outside of your friend group or, or something okay so what um does gemini need to manifest so we have healing in the reverse the deal deer and oat so definitely healing okay heal yourself gemini it's time to focus on yourself and not other people. Time to focus on yourself. What does Gemini not see coming? The Ram and the Dahlia with determination. <clears throat> you could actually have a Taurus entering your life, okay? Something about the letter L. And I feel like, you know, with this cat and the lavender, you could be, um, I feel like you're going to be, I don't know if a relationship is ending, but you could be being called to end it and go independent with something. Okay. So let's see. Let's see. Going on with someone's father. Okay, they they're I don't know. I don't know if like depression is the word I want to use or anxiety or something weird like that. Okay, what is going on with this? Who's this rat? Who's this rat? Nine of coins. Okay. You could be dealing with a Virgo. What's the Nine of Coins? The Tower and the Nine of Wands. You could be seeing Nine Nine Nine. I would. I kind of get like energy vampire from the Nine of Wands. Like, look at this card. There's just like a bunch of like demons like sucking a human dry. So. Someone here could be being used. Okay, and this big. This could become very obvious.
something shocking is going to happen with the tower for sure. This is definitely an ending here. I feel as well, like in the ethers, like there's some mad, weird stuff going on, Gemini. So you could be having like really strange dreams. You could be waking up feeling drained. Like whoever you're connecting to is like secretly not for you. Uh, in a way where I'm trying to say like this person is, is like a shapeshifter. They're not who they appear to be to you. Okay. This person is... The heck is going on with this? This person is like almost doing something weird to you when you're sleeping. I'm not sure if they're doing it in the 3D, but they're definitely doing it like in in the ethers because you're the empress here. Gemini, okay, that's what you don't see is who you really are. You're truly someone special here. You're truly someone divine, okay? Let's see, where, where is Gemini in this Zodiac card? Gemini is the... They're the heart. Yeah. Gemini is... Oh, no, no, they're coming across as the limbs, like the arms, okay? Okay. So it's like Gemini, you you just wanna you just wanna help everyone, okay? I'm getting a little bit of people pleasing with you, um, so you could be tempted to give too much to people, okay? You could be tempted to overgive, right? Because something, you know, you feel like if you overgive, you could maybe save something. I'm also getting here like proving your parents wrong, okay? So you can also be tempted to kind of try really hard to make something work because your parents couldn't type of deal, okay? And like that, I mean, while it's good to challenge yourself, I do feel like it is super important for you to realize that being your true and genuine self and in your own energy and having people serve you. And I'm not saying like serve you, but like I'm saying it's your time to be in receiving mode, Gemini. You do not need to overgive. You do not need to do any of this shit. Okay, because people, you're the damn empress. Okay, you are beautiful, whether you're a man or woman, I don't care. Maybe you're the emperor. You're beautiful, you're handsome, you're good looking. It is time for you to receive. Okay, and you need to be in that mindset. So I feel like you need to manifest, Gemini, a, a new beginning for yourself where you are being given everything that you have lost thus far in your life, okay? You need to tell the universe, I'm ready to receive it. I'm ready to receive the things I lost when I was younger. I'm ready to receive the shit that like went wrong. You know, I like I'm getting inner childhood healing. There's a lot of inner child bullshit. Sorry about that. My space just ran out. And that was, that also gave me a message, Gemini. It's time to free up space. It's time to free up space. It's time to like reset. You know what I mean? It's time to kind of like restructure your DNA. Okay. And, and a new beginning, like start completely brand new is, is kind of what I'm getting. Like, like, if you're not someone who goes to the gym, it's time to start going to the gym. If it's if you're not someone who meditates, it's time to start meditating. If it's if you're not someone who if you're someone who always goes to the gym, it's time to give yourself some non-gym time. You know what I mean? It's time to enjoy yourself a little bit. Yourself. Do things for you, not other people. Okay. Is there anything else that Gemini needs to know right now? So I'm feeling like we just basically covered a lot here. Four of coins. Okay. I feel like it's time to focus on money. It's time to focus on your own success. It's time to focus on your own abundance. And love will follow here. Okay. So what, um, what new person is coming in for Gemini? The chariot. 
over hand it came over handshake so someone new is coming into your life and you need to be able to be in that receiving mode okay this person is going to want to like give you everything too like they're going to they're going to want to seven of coins in the reverse what's the seven of coins in the reverse Jupiter energy. They could be a Sagittarius or a Pisces. What's the seven of coins in reverse? There's something in this person's life that they may have messed up before. And this is a new person though. And they're going to want to kind of fix this with you. But that's not such a bad thing. It's like this person has learned their lessons about fucking up and I feel like with you they're going to almost like worship the ground that you walk on okay knight of coins in the reverse with the hanged man yeah as a challenge this person has made some mistakes in their past okay but whoever this is um this person is really wanting to like basically show themselves to someone okay and that could be good and bad but I'm kind of getting to that whoever this is is it's going to make you For some of you this person in the past like they took a really long time to offer something to someone and they're going to this person is like really ready to like step forward into like a new beginning with someone else. So, I mean, hmm, that could be good and bad, right? But like you'll know when you know whether or not it's good or bad. But um all right, Gemini, that was your reading. I hope you enjoyed. Bye.